Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today is day 3 of this crazy 100 days Adalo video challenge. Okay, and today's topic is power of single item list. So yeah, I know I had promised that I, have, I will make a video on notifications linking to different types of screens. But before doing that, you need to understand a couple of things which I will co uh, cover in the next couple of videos. Okay, so today we will do power of single item list. Now many of you will think, Prakha, the definition of list is list of different items, right? So why would I need a list of single item when I can just use one item? Okay, why would I need the list functionality for that? Guys, wait, I'm making a video on that. I'll tell you what power it has, okay? So have some patience. So let's move right into the dashboard. So this is a basic uh, app that I have created. Uh, this is basically just, you know, the, uh, using the chat template and I have added a couple of sc uh, new screens and neglected some screen like start conversation. Okay, so let me just uh, check the link fast. So that you know the profile is linking to profile the message is linking to messages okay and this home should link to home right okay so now let's just preview the app uh, this is a use case that I have created where you will use a single item list but before understanding why would we would need that we'll see the preview okay this will give you a better understanding of why anybody will need a single item list so now it will directly take me here which i don't want and click on log out okay one more thing that i noticed that the home screen was this again this one should be the home screen okay so let's preview yeah so we'll click on sign up and my email id is there a sample password is there so I'll put my full name, which is Prakar Mishra. I don't know how many of you guys can pronounce that, by the way. Then click on sign up. And we'll go to a screen where I have to add a profile picture. So I'll, I'll add a cool picture of mine, which I like very much. So you can tell me in the comment section below whether you like it or not. Let's click on continue. And here it is. So this is a list of different users on the application. So when I click on a particular user, let's say uh, Elon Matrix. Okay, so I'll go to his profile. His name will be visible. His um, email address will be visible. And I don't know why Elon at SpaceX.com is there, but yeah. And there'll be a message button. Okay, so now what I want is that users to go to the profile of other users and they can see a message button, which they can always use to have conversation with each other okay i don't want to um, them to you know go to again go to conversation find that user conversation click on that conversation and then go and chat with each other i don't want that to happen okay so here what i'll do i'll click on message so obviously it should send me to the conversation screen yep and i can just chat here hey elon How is SpaceX doing? Obviously he won't re reply to me. But what's there in trying, right? So I'll, uh, I'll click on the send button. The message will be sent to him. Okay. Now when I click on back, there'll be a conversation that is created here. I don't know what weird problems that is having. Okay. But that is the template that I use. So it should have worked perfectly. So, okay. This is not a use to us at all. Okay, so what I want again is when I again go to that user which was Elon Matrix and I again click on message. I want to continue the chat right now. I want to continue the chat and it's saying start chatting with Elon Matrix. Mm, something like hi. Okay, I'll not type a big message every time. Okay, so the message is sent. And again, when we go back, we go back to the uh, message screen. 
and this weird problem is still happening but okay so this is basically two conversations that have been created right so now with a single person i don't want to create two conversations so someone like some smart person of you will think okay prakar i understand that message button was actually creating the conversation so if we uh, go to the adalo dashboard we can see this message button this message button is creating the conversation so simple right we should just create another button use conditional visibility and make this button visible make create conversation button visible only when current user only when current user is not a member of any conversation and make another message button and you can just link directly to the conversation page my friend that is not possible okay i'll tell you why i'll I, i'll tell you uh, i'll just do what you suggested okay actually i suggested but that is what many of you will think okay so what i'll do i'll i'll just duplicate this message button right here and i will cancel all the actions of this button except the link conversation action fine and this button has these actions so before using the conditional visibility let's check out this button's action okay now as you can see this is sending the data of current user of current user not of current conversation not of current conversation and that's a big problem i'll tell you why so when we go to the conversation screen as you can see uh, we'll go to available data and here the data should be of current conversation we need the data of current conversation okay we don't need the data of current user actually in the screen we need especially current conversation so here is where we can use the power of single item list okay so i'll tell you how we can do that so first of all let me just go again to the profile 2 screen i don't know why i named it like that you can call it the random user profile i'll go to this button i will click on these three dots and i will select on make list so what is this list of this is a list of conversations okay you'll understand why why i'm doing this fine so now what i'll do is i'll make it a single item conversation which is one maximum number of items one and i'll just you know decrease the size i don't want to see three items it's a single item thing okay so yeah it looks exactly like a button right but it's actually a single item list now why i did that is because when i made it into a single item list of conversation i can send the data of current conversation to the next screen right so what i need to do right now is pull out the current the conversation data which i want to send pull out that data and with what is that data which i want to send to that screen that is the data of conversation between this particular current user and logged in user so it's simple how do you do that you add another filter okay and in this filter you select convert members okay conversation members all contains current user simple and you will select conversation members all should contain logged in user okay so now there will be only one conversation which will contain both single use uh, both current user and logged in user so whenever the user will click on this button right now which is a single item list he will be sending the data of the particular conversation between him and the current user how cool is that right now we will put the conditional visibility now we don't want users to create the same conversation two times right the list will be confused but before adding the conditional visibility thing 
what we need to do is a different kind of an action so that it becomes simple of uh, simple for us to you know create that conditional visibility action so what we'll do we'll go to this uh, uh, this button the message button so when it's creating a conversation that is the first time this uh, logged in user is trying to chat with current user okay so it is very much obvious that you know he's trying to make a friend or make it maybe a connection right so if we talk in terms of a linkedin language it will be connection if we talk in terms of instagram and facebook language it will be a friend right so we'll add another action and what we'll do we'll update the logged in user okay and what we'll do here is under the friend section we will add current user right click on done again go to add another action update current user and under the friend section add logged in user okay i hope i did this right logged in user with current user okay and this is logged in again logged in user current user right okay now now we'll add the conditional visibility functionality so we'll go to the message button we'll click on three dots we'll click on change visibility and we'll click on sometimes visible will be visible if logged in user friends all does not contain current user okay so when i have not uh, added him as my friend okay or or maybe if i have not tried to chat with him before that is when the top message button should appear okay click on done and add this visibility from the condition here the opposite obviously change visibility sometimes visible will be visible if logged in user friends all contains current user okay so let's click on preview now so instead of elon we'll choose a different user this time okay so let's say jen jones so as you can see there is a message button so this is the first time i'm trying to chat with jen okay so now uh, ideally what should happen is she should be adding myself into her friend list and i should be adding her into my friend list right and a new conversation must be created so let me click on message so a new conversation okay the new conversation is being created so something like hey jen how are you doing something random click on the send button so a new message has been created okay let's click on back again i'm pretty sure that weird thing is going to happen i don't know why i don't care you don't care it's not necessary in this video okay so we'll go to home and here again we'll go to this and so as you can see a message button is visible we don't know whether whether it is the first button or the second button okay so uh, let's click on this and see if it's creating a new conversation or it is sending us to the current conversation I'll just click on this and yes it sent me to the current conversation this is the power of single item list okay so let's say you are doing something in a dialogue okay and you want to link one button or one from one place you want to link to another screen one screen to another screen one component to another screen okay and you are missing some data okay that screen you want to link to requires some data requires some data okay and you are missing that data from that component from that button from that screen whatever okay so just think if you use a single item list there will the problem will be solved and i am telling you in most of the cases this trick will let you solve that problem okay so don't underestimate the power of single item list 
so i hope this video was helpful right subscribe to my channel like this video if you loved it and i'm very sure you loved it okay and yeah stay tuned for next videos